Hey, what is up everybody? How are you guys doing? Thanks for checking out this video. As you saw, the first video was um, just me basically packing up for something. I didn't say much of what it was, but uh, today it has started and last year at this time during May, I went out storm chasing. This is round two. So I am currently in Oklahoma, Hooker, Oklahoma to be exact and heading up to Kansas. There's a nice little setup in Kansas that should produce, I don't know yet, um, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, the funny thing is, is yesterday, I woke up at two o'clock, worked a full day's work, and turned around. I spent a couple minutes with my girlfriend, packed up a couple more things that I forgot about earlier, and hit the road. So drove most of the night. I went to sleep at, I think about 10 o'clock or so. And just got a few hours of sleep, three and a half, four hours of sleep or something like that, hit the road again. The thing was, is I normally get off at about six o'clock. I was able to get off and home at two. So that bought me a lot of time. I only had uh, about two, three hours of sleep. Uh, at first of all, I was gonna get off at six. So I was able to get a little bit more. Um, and I spent a little more time home, but it's basically a hard push all the way from Phoenix, Arizona up to uh, I haven't really looked at the map on what the cities are, but around Topeka, Kansas, uh, the middle of Kansas. So I'd have to look at it, Wichita, maybe. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not going to bore you too much with the travel part of it, but I'm heading up to Kansas. I'll get back with you guys when I get there and hopefully I'll have something. <laughs> We'll see, as always. You never know till it happens. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys then. See ya. All right, hey, so just a quick update. Um, I pulled over for hours. I got up into Kansas, went to Dodge City, uh, went a little further east. Uh, ended up meeting up with some other chasers um, and got to talking. It's pretty much there's two choices right now up north towards Kansas City. Uh, which is pretty far away, but it is on a major freeway so you can move um, Much better chance of a tornado the storms down south probably an hour or so the other direction um, Are going to be much more photogenic and beautiful. So I'm actually going down to the south ones for now I'm going to keep a little bit of a distance and see what they do uh, If I don't really like it too much I'm going to shoot up to the freeway as fast as I can get out there for the triple point area and uh, see if I can get a tornado out of it so uh, next scene hopefully I'll be on a storm of some sort so <laughs> we will see I got some driving to do till then so Think it's gonna start spinning? Yeah, yeah, it seems real busy down at the base of it, but yeah, I figured I'd give it a little bit of time and hit this road instead of closer. Right on, thanks. Yeah, I was driving south a little bit on the storm and noticed it started dropping some funnel clouds. So I pulled over real quick. Um, as you saw in the last shot there, uh, I passed the Doppler on wheels. That was kind of cool to see that. I've seen them a couple times. Um, it almost looks like another funnel dropping right in front of me. It's pretty small. It's probably a scud cloud. Yeah, but there's a nice little horseshoe in the formation and the structure on this thing. And it definitely looks like it has the potential to uh, go tornadic. It's not, it's severe. And just to look, da, 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 if I can, if I can, vorticity. 
the radar is in a really weird spot. It's just south of here, and it's not really getting good vorticity readings. But, um, yeah, it looks pretty good in person, though. <laughs> so I'm shooting a time lapse right now. And, yeah, first severe storm in the system. I'm on it. I'm not as close as some of the other guys, but I think I'm in a better position. So, yeah, that would be sweet if it dropped a tornado. Don't know if it will, but... <laughs> Jason, love it. All right, so here's a funny story. Shot two time lapses so far. Something didn't really seem right with it. I was in video mode. <laughs> so I went to go review to see what the uh, Instagram was putting out and zero images. It was just uh, trying to take a time lapse with video, so screwed that up it was nothing special the first one i jumped around quite a bit this one it didn't really do anything so i'm not missing out a whole lot um i am gonna back off it a little bit and yeah i'm gonna back off it give it a little bit of distance give it a little bit of time it's not even severe warned anymore shift so uh still a sweet looking storm it's got like a little bit of a wall cloud uh, but yeah it's not severe warned or tornado warned especially so so yeah i'm gonna go down i'm gonna cut diagonal along with it and go back towards i-70 and then i'll be able to hop on i-70 and go um and see if this thing ends up producing it's not super photogenic like i was hoping um yeah so, I mean, I got a couple pictures of it regardless. So, yeah, maybe I'll put those up right here. But, yeah, you know, I mean, it's awesome. First severe storm of the system of my chase, and I was on it in a good position. It just didn't really produce much. It did put out a couple funnel clouds, no doubt about that. Um, but, yeah, nothing. So, onward. Yeah, I give you guys a visual here. Those two went, there, let me cut that noise down. Yeah, those two went severe um, north of me. The one that I was on didn't, it lost its severe status. The two ones north of it, but there's a line of four storms right now and I'm driving away from it. That sounds pretty much crazy, I guess, but I wanna give them a little bit of time to mature maybe and I don't know, they happen pretty fast, but I'm gonna cut north the first chance I get. It's gonna be back kind of where I started the video here. Um, Ben something, what's it called? Great Bend. So I'm gonna go back there, it's about 50, 60 miles ahead of the storms, and I'm gonna cut north and kind of follow them north, hoping that they mature a little bit. I don't know, I'm taking a chance with the Greenhorn state of mind and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> Everybody's hoarding around these storms and it's just not real impressive right now, so. Kind of what I'm doing is, uh, yeah, I'll try to show you. Yeah, there's four storms lined up in a row north to south. That's usually a very good sign that uh, they're gonna go severe and tornadic. I'm driving away from them. I, I, not sure I'm making the right choice, but I'm giving myself a little bit of a distance, maybe to let them mature a little bit. Um, sometimes it happens really fast and it'll drop a tornado really fast. Uh, these aren't really seeming to do it. The other two have been severe for about 20 minutes. The one I was on was severe for a little while and then um, it lost the severe status. Now it's just a storm, a storm cell. So yeah, they, they died down a little bit. I just have a feeling that they need a little bit of time to mature. I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know. Um, but I'm backing off a little bit. I'm going back to uh, where I started running from when I stopped and talked to those storm chasers and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to cut north from there and kind of head them off. It's about 60 miles away. So 
uh, maybe it'll be enough time for him to do something special. <laughs> I don't know. Greenhorn state of mind, and I'm a rookie at this, so I'm probably making the wrong choice, and I'm going to see all kinds of pictures on Twitter here shortly of this epic death noodle tube tornado uh, that dropped down right where I was sitting. <laughs> but that's the way it goes. That's chasing, I guess. Um, but I'm going to take a chance on this, see if it is the right choice. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to head on over there, get into a position when I'm uh, kind of in front of the storms and see where it's at from there. All right, cool. See you in a sec. The whole storm system was kind of a flop. It was, uh, Jesus. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it was all kind of a flop as far as uh, getting anything over severe. But right now I am right under an extremely large hill core with heavy lightning. I pulled over to get some lightning shots because that's about all I could get. And I think I got a few good ones. Uh, I got one that I saw the explosion at the end of the bolt, which was pretty awesome. Um, but I left track or wasn't paying attention enough to what the storm was doing. Even though it was moving slow, I wasn't all that worried about it. But yeah, the hill port grew very large. And I got a couple quarter size hail that hit as I was just leaving. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that would have destroyed me if I stayed there. So luckily I was able to get out quick enough. I'm heading south to try to avoid this thing. And uh, maybe I'll get on the backside of it or take an eastbound road, try to get back in front of it. But uh, yeah. Almost got destroyed with some gorilla ball hail. <laughs> got some really good lightning shots though. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know yet, but um, yeah, I'm just about out of the rain, so I'm gonna be out of the hail. But yeah, nice wicked sky, good storm regardless. Um, and I'm gonna see what I can do. pick it up so I got this camera got some hail coming I had no freaking idea that siren was going off 10 feet from me <laughs> oh that scared the hell out of me Didn't want to record too much at night time that's kind of annoying with the lights and I don't have proper light to really record at night time so it is the next morning I woke up last night after a couple hours freezing my butt off so I grabbed my little flannel sheet that I have that kept me warm and then I woke up and it was 45 degrees outside freezing my poor pup over here was freezing um, I did not bring a jacket or a coat or anything like that. It's May, you know, I guess it does get cold in May, but oh. anyway, um, ended up being kind of an interesting chase last night. I didn't get a whole lot of footage. Um, after I was under the awning at the gas station, um, it started to hail a little bit. Um, I'd say... nickel to dime size hail you know I mean uh, about a half inch or so I mean it wasn't that bad um, looking at the radar it started to lighten up a little bit and directly below or after that 
that tornado siren was for a tornado. That was not for the hail. I thought it was for the hail. It was, in fact, for a tornado. There was a storm right behind that one that I was in that was tornado warned and heading directly my way. So I had to make a choice to do something. So I ended up driving through the hill a little bit. I haven't inspected the car 100% yet, but uh, yeah, um, it was 60 miles away though. So I started driving towards it. Hopefully it'd kind of recycle and all that and it ended up dying. I guess it was a funnel cloud. One person reported a wedge tornado, which was BS. I don't know what they were seeing. Uh, but there was a good funnel that came down. When I was driving up to it, it looked like I saw a funnel um, just with the lightning flashes and stuff like that. The thing that sucks is it was graded roads. It was stripped roads, and it's kind of a crisscross pattern, so it's really loud. It's hard on the tires. It's bad on traction, and I'm in heavy winds, rain, trying to haul butt on these, and they're kind of back roads. You know, nobody really out there. But I got back there and uh, yeah, I didn't get anything. So decided to find a place to sleep and called it at night. So yeah, that was that. Um, it was pretty exciting. Uh, it doesn't mean much without footage and pictures and all that, but yeah. Anyway, um, so from work to now, that's been like one long day almost. <laughs> so the chase carries on. That's day one, day two maybe. Got about 14 to go. So hopefully I'll have something else. Um, it's supposed to be a really quiet season. so Or at least these couple weeks is supposed to be pretty quiet. According to the GFS models. It's so, alright. I'm going to get my bearings together. Get cleaned up. Get some food. There's an IHOP right here. I'm going to get some food. And see what today has for me in store <laughs> all right thanks for watching hit that like button I'd appreciate it oh, subscribe. all right see ya